Bringing a dog into your home is not a decision to be made lightly, and it's an even more crucial decision if you're a first-time canine leader. Some dog breeds are more trainable and require less time and effort on your part, while others will demand a considerable commitment from you. Factors like intelligence, willingness to please, protective instincts, independence and energy are just a few of the things you need to consider with every single breed. Today we're looking at a large breed exploding in popularity lately, the Canny Corso. Let's find out how this breed could fit into your life as a first time canine leader. Welcome back to the Canny Corso channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Canny Corso, then how to become a high level canine leader so that you can raise the perfect Canny Corso. So if you're a lifelong Canny Corso lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with the new Canny Corso, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss a future Canny Corso video. So, let's dive into today's video and we'll find out if the powerful Canny Corso is the right choice for your first canine companion. Firstly, I encourage you to check out all of the videos on this channel and stay tuned for new ones coming out every week since we take a more in-depth look uh, at many of the factors we're talking about today in those videos. Let's get right into everything you need to know as a first time canine leader before bringing this impressive canine into your home. Let's jump right in and go over the Canny Corso's exercise requirements because they aren't that different from what you expect a Mastiff type breed. Unlike other Mastiffs, the Corso has a moderate to high energy level, which is, of course, higher until they reach maturity, around four years of age. This also means that they have one of the longer puppyhoods in the canine world and reach nearly full size by one and a half years old. They aren't going to exercise themselves since they're quite bonded to their family, which means you need to spend at least two to three hours a day working off their mental and physical energy. You need to be mindful of their joints uh, their whole life, but especially until they're fully grown. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. You're probably aware that the Canny Corso is a large, massive type breed with impressive garden instincts, and is quite intelligent. But did you know that intelligence can go both ways? Sure, it can make them easy to train, but they can also train you just as easily if you're not experienced with working class canines. Your Corso may refuse to eat one night, so you add something different to make it more appetising and tasty, and they'll happily eat it. The next night, same story, and on and on until you're cooking a whole dinner for them. I know it sounds silly now, but I promise things like that will happen far more often than you think with this breed. You might be considering your Corso because they're known to be excellent family guardians, both in instinct and sheer size. And while they're wonderful protectors, their instincts and size can put them at risk in everyday situations. People who are afraid of dogs or even just not comfortable around them can set their instincts on edge as they seek to always protect their family. You should be absolutely not consider bringing a Canny Corso or any large guardian breed into your home as first time canine leaders. I don't say this to be dramatic, but it's a sad fact that so many beautiful canines Canny Corsos and others end up in shelters because they require more time and training than the family could give them. Corsos are affectionately called the Velcro dog. That's because they're constantly by their family's side and they stick to you, well, like Velcro. Moving from room to room, sitting on the couch, in bed, and anywhere else you go, they'll be as close to you as they can get. It's easy for boundaries to blur when their affection melts your heart, but their soft personalities and willingness to please are satisfied best when they know what's acceptable and what isn't. Another massive consideration with this breed is their affection, because it means that they won't be happy being outside only if their family's gone for most of the day. They can be prone to separation anxiety and will destroy even the toughest kennels if they aren't thoroughly exercised multiple times a day. 
It's not a requirement, but corsos do best with someone who's at home at least several times a day. To say it plainly, canny corsos are not good for first time owners. They might not even be a good choice for experienced owners if they haven't developed the skills to be calm, consistent canine leaders with this breed and their demands. There are many wonderful breeds out there that are better suited to inexperienced owners and jumping right in with such a demanding and large breed like this is a recipe for disaster. No matter what breed you choose or your experience level, seriously consider your lifestyle and how happy the canine you choose will be with it. So if you decided the Canny Corso isn't the best choice for you, make sure you check out the other videos on the Fenrir Canine Show and roundups of the best breeds for first time canine leaders. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if it's your first time here, to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Canon Corso videos coming here every single week. So, I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Canon Corso channel.